therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us and let us fix our eyes on Jesus the author and perfecter of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart in your struggle against sin you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your addresses you as son my son do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes everyone Accepts as a son, endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as son. For what son is not disciplined by his father? And if you are not disciplined, and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are illegitimate children and not true sons. Our fathers disciplined us for a little while as they thought best. But God disciplines us for our good that we may share in His holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. is a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it therefore strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees make level paths for your feet that the lame may not be disabled but rather trouble and defile many see that no one is sexually immoral or as godless like Esau who for a 
single meal sold his inheritance right, says the oldest sons. Afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit this blessing, he was rejected. He could bring about no change of mind, though he sought the blessing with tears. You have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire to darkness, gloom and storm, to a trumpet blast or to such a voice. spoken to them because they could not bear what was commanded if even an animal touches the mountain it must be stoned the sight was so terrifying that Moses said I am trembling with fear but you have come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to the city of the living God. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly. And to the sprinkle of blood That speaks a better word than the blood of Abel See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks if they did not escape when they refused him and warned them on earth, how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven? At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised. Once more I will shake not only the earth, but also Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. is a consuming fire